What's up, but once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, people, you manning, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls, and as always, I'm talking to you, this is Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Manny Wolverine. Guys, know the rest of the intros and outros on the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, that good stuff. I'm probably just going to make this a five minute video. I have two articles here I wanted to show you. I'm wondering why I'm actually, you know, <laughs> actually doing a, not live stream, but like a face to face, you know, sort of like video for you guys. It's probably extremely important news. It's the only two reasons why I ever do these type of videos. If it's an extremely important news video game the anime industry, or if it's like a real big important date, like important update in my life. But anyways, um, yeah, um, this one I think it might be a little bit shorter than the other one. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit longer. There's another one that's double this size, so I'm probably just going to read this one from Newsweek. The other one's from USA Today. I'll leave both those things in the search box down below. And yeah, without further ado, let's get it started. Let's get a jump in, popping, moving, which it's said in like two and a half years. It's been a long time since I said that. Uh, excuse me. And if you're wondering why I still sound like shit, it's unfortunately because I'm still getting over my sickness. So, like I said before in my older video, the video I did like fucking Tuesday that you guys probably saw. Links to the description box down below if you didn't see it, but. Yeah, I know I shouldn't give credit credit to but this guy, I'm um, shout out to fucking Dreamcast guy for telling subscribers about this shit, because that's how I found out about this in the first place. So yeah, let's begin. This article comes from Philip Martinez, 4-16-19, which by the time you guys are watching, it's probably going to be the 19th or 20th. I don't know. Hopefully, I'm getting over my cold by then. It says, Sony has revealed the first details of its next generation of consoles, and there's lots of fans of the PlayStation brand to be excited about. Damn fucking right there is. Oh, I forgot to read the title. It says, Sony confirms backwards compatibility hardware details for the next generation of the PlayStation console, PS5. Um, before I begin, which is cool, this is officially confirmed. There is backwards compatibility along with 8K support. And it's going to not be coming out in 2019. I think it's going to be 2020 or 2021. So at least we know for a fact, and unfortunately it's not coming out this year. It's going to be the year after or next year. One of those two. So it goes on to say that the uh, brand to be. All right, brand to be excited about. In an interview with Wire, Mark Cerny led the architecture for the PS4, revealed some of the technological aspects Sony's next console would be gaming. While he didn't specifically call for the console's PS5, Cerny gave out the outlet of substantial look in which makes Sony's next gaming console tick. Here's why Cerny revealed to be the next Sony PlayStation console gaming console for. The sake of brevity, we'll be real. We'll refer to this console as the PS5. The PS4 won't release until not not until 2019. The PS4 won't release in 2019. The CPU is based on the third generation AMD's Ryzen Ryzen line and contains eight courses on the company's new 7NL Zen 2 microarchitecture. AMD chips will include a custom unit for 3D Auto. Cerny says as quote. As a gamer, it's been a little bit of, fresh, of a frustration that audio did not change too much for the PS3 and PS4. But the next console of the dreams is shown to be how dramatically different in the audio experience can be when we apply significant amounts of hardware horsepower to it. The GPU <coughs> excuse me, is a custom variant Radon, Radeon's Navi's family. It will support blue tracing a technique Hollywood uses for VHX or excuse me VFX effects to simulate light interacting with 3D environments. PS5 will be compatible with play PSVR. Obviously, it's going to be compatible with the PlayStation VR headset. PS5 will compete. I already read that. PS5 will have a built-in solid-state SSD that increases a load time of increase and increases of how fast the worlds are rendered. Cerny claimed that the SSD has a raw bandwidth higher than any of the other available for the PCs. PS5 will support 8K graphics, like I said earlier. PS5 will support physical media, so it's not download only. Oh, shoot, okay. We'll, we'll be backwards compatible with the PS4 game. No wonder it's backwards compatible. Okay. Not fucking bad. Not bad at all. I was actually nervous that they were going to go the same route. Microsoft was going to be doing next month in April. Or this month, April, or next month, May. Like, literally, like, a month before summertime starts here in the United States. I know you guys in Japan, Australia, and the lower southern hemisphere of the world. You guys, 
end up having that yeah, winter instead of summer. It's weird how this shit works, honest. Anyways, oh my god. Hold on one second, because this fucking thing he's saying, if I want to see if I wait or continue, it's not responding. I don't know why the fuck I'm doing that. There was a little bit more extra shit in there, too. Trust me, there was. Swear to God, I'm not lying about it. Link's down below if you want to read it yourself, or if you want to watch Dreamcast Guy's video on it. Anyways, hopefully this shit actually works. Yeah, I gotta, like, close a couple, um, things so it goes faster. I don't know. <coughs> yeah, that's what I was talking about. Hmm. Sorry this thing's taking so long, guys. I don't know why the fuck is taking a sweet-ass time doing this shit. I was not doing this earlier. All right, here we go. Da, 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 da. Upon the console's release, games will be released for both the PS4 and to the new system. Sony will not attend this year's E3 conference, so it's unclear we can expect when we can expect more details on the company's on gaming console. The publisher has recently kicked off an online presentation of the series. It's going to show me a little video thing. You guys can watch a little video thing on your own. Da, 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 publisher. Oh, yeah. Publishers recently kicked an online presentation series in a format similar to the Nintendo Rock save play. That one went really fucking bad. And as a Sony fan guy, that shit pissed me off a little bit. I was extremely sad, very disappointed, very fucking underwhelming, man. That was not good. Hopefully, I need to take tips from how Nintendo interacts with their fans compared to how Sony does it. As much as I love both the fucking companies, as much as I love both of their games, henceforth, you know, it's my name, Nintendo Sony Freak. And a freak because, you know, I'm a big Pokemon fan for Nintendo Game Freak and shit. And, of course, uh, Pokemon um, Company. It still kind of pissed me off a little bit. Hopefully they do better in the second one. They better do way fucking better. The first day to play, and just don't show VR games, too. Show other stuff that's on the PS4 as well. That'll be a lot better, please. Any of the Sony executives or producers or people that make those little, like, presentations, please do fucking better. I'm just saying, because the other ones suck. Monkey duck. Just saying. Alright. First day to play presented to, took, late, took place in late March. Focusing on the upcoming PSVR title, Sony promised more the online announcements will be taking place throughout this year. What do you think of the first details on the next PlayStation? What aspect are you most excited for? Let us know in the comment section below. Alright, um, overall thoughts, views, and opinions. This is, let's, let me get to the two first good news. Good news is, it's going to be either 2020 or 2021 when this shit comes out. I'm actually hoping they go out, the, out of their way, Sony goes out of their way and makes it 2021 instead of 2020. So that way they get all the bugs, the glitches, the exploits completely fixed up, completely refurbished. No problem at all whatsoever at any of the PS5s at day one launch. You know, that's pretty much asking for a lot. That's probably damn near, like, unrealistic. But if it were to happen, that's how you know Sony actually gives a shit about their fans. And not just sees us as numbers and just fucking customers. You know, granted, yes. I know they got a whole bunch of other ventures that they have. Like, they got, like, Sony Pictures for a lot of their movies. And then they came out with the Sony smartphone, which I don't think they did that good, but it did okay. And they still do a lot of PS5 or PlayStation Vita games for Japan. So, you know, and then I'm, su I'm, I'm surprised they don't come out with their laptop either. That's one thing they got covered. And then the second thing they got, you know, they had a lot of clout from the 1970s, 80s, and 90s when they started coming out with their own record things, their own old school, like, cassette players back in the 80s. Same with the 90s with the CDs and all that. When, obviously, I remember a lot more better because the 80s, I wasn't even around. I mean, I was around for 89, but psh, I didn't know shit at the time. Anyways, um, another extra thing that's kind of got me worried on this. Granted, it's really cool that they're still supporting the fuck out of physical media for the PlayStation 5, which is really fucking awesome. I just hope to God they don't take back on their word on that and say, Oh, no, we changed our mind. We're going to make it a disklets freaking console like freaking Google Stadia and uh, Microsoft's Xbox, too, which there were rumors saying, because I heard this on Dreamcast Guy's video saying that I'm not sure it's 100% official or not, but there's rumors saying that there is going to be like an Xbox 2 presentation for E3. So that's a little bit of a huge ass freaking deal that ends up happening for any Microsoft fans or Microsoft heads that are really, really big in a lot of Microsoft games and shit for the Xbox 2. So it is what it is. I have a feeling it's probably going to run up to 
not six hundred dollars, probably gonna be eight hundred, eight hundred and fifty max, because it's probably gonna be a lot more powerful. Because a lot more powerful these engines, a lot of these AMD gigs of RAM go, the more pricier and expensive it gets. I'm gonna be surprised another like, I'm thinking way far ahead of myself. I'm gonna be about 55, 60 something years old. I might be an old man in a wheelchair by the time I'm 60, 70 years old. <laughs> I don't know. God willing, I get to live that long. Um, that hopefully, um, hey, you know what? This is probably going to be about 10, 25 something thousand dollars. And time consoles are still around, which it sounds extremely outrageous, but I wouldn't be surprised it ends up being real. And that's if the end of the world doesn't end up happening, because I'm a very firm believer in that shit, too. Shit can't hit the fan any time. I'm just saying. One more other thing that I'm a little worried about before, right after I was done talking about the good positive stuff about this, is that I really hope they don't overprice the shit out of this. I think the most expensive one they did was $499, like almost $500 for the PS4 Pro, I think. And PS4, I think it was like $450 or $400, I think. Or it might have been $399 or $350, I don't remember. This was like six and a half, seven years ago, man. Anyways, um, that's all I gotta say for now, and I'm out of here because. My voice is starting to give out me a lot. So that's all I got to say for now. I'm out of here. Oh, one more other thing. Really hope they still bring like the DualShock like vibration features. And uh, please don't focus on the next Sony presentations of State of Play. Please just don't focus on virtual like reality VR games all the time. I know there's a niche audience for it. Here's the thing. It's still in its infancy. It's probably in its toddler years right now with VR games. Maybe in another, I don't know, by 2045 or 2050 by the time I'm damn near almost 60 freaking years old by then um then it'll probably be at its prime by then which will be really fucking cool and granted even if i'm in a wheelchair you know at least i'll be able to maybe walk in the virtual world you know where like it's probably gonna be so damn realistic you're not even gonna be able to tell what's fantasy and reality at that point and like i always say i'll say it before i'll say it again just like the video the movie videos the movies i watched last year and the year before which was the blade runner 2051 movie and ready player one all those sci-fi movies it may end up being a reality. Who the fuck knows? And that's it. And by then, who knows? Sony's still probably one. Praying fingers crossed and Nintendo's still around by then. <laughs> so I can tell younger generations of the future, like, I remember when I was back in the days when I had SNES and Sega Genesis and the PlayStation 1. You know? All that shit. And the original Xbox and the original Dreamcast and the original PS4 Pro. You know? <laughs> I'm going to be an old timer to them. I'll be a dinosaur. But I was like, oh, that's nice, um, Mr. Old Man. Um, let me go back in my VR thing and like um, go into my future time machine or whatever future technology they have by that point. It's going to be insane as hell by then. Who the fuck knows? By then, Pokemon might not even be fucking real beyond Pokemon Go. They might not even just be a freaking thing you click and spin on a freaking laptop or anything like that. They may end up being fucking real at that point. Who the fuck knows? I'm probably like reaching too far i'm just saying just putting it out there it's all i gotta say for now i'm out of here peace out once again ladies and gentlemen bros women fanboys and fangirls as always i'm talking sneaky kimonis out there i will see you when i see you guys today have a good night wherever you are at and around the world out there don't just phone at the same time just the reckless stay tuned for future article session reviews including anime manga news video game industry news internet news and that wraps up the video take it easy peace out stay safe peace out again <laughs> i'm out like sauerkraut let's say goodbye i'll see you all on the flip side peace